Good afternoon, my name is Adam Smith. I am the Director of Client Programs at Mediagistic, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, some of the programs that we have in conjunction with Pierce Phelps available to the Pierce Phelps dealers. One thing, uh, as I go through the presentation, if you do have specific questions, please uh, just notate Sheila. This is Sheila at Pierce, uh, her email address. You can email her directly, uh, and her and I will collaborate to make sure we answer any questions that you may have. As far as the agenda goes, I'm going to cover a little bit about Mediagistic, get into specifically the Power Buy program, our dealer locator, and then some of our individual programs. This is our office. Uh, we are based in Tampa, Florida. We are a full-service advertising agency with about 100 people. Uh, we do specialize in the HVAC vertical. It's not the only vertical that we work in, but it is the bulk of our business. Uh, we partner with about 15 different distributors and uh, over 500 dealers all across the country, again, just in the HVAC space. I've worked at Mediagistic for almost 11 years, and since I've been here, worked almost exclusively on our HVAC accounts. So we have a lot of experience in that vertical uh, that can translate into you know, benefiting you and working to your advantage. I talk about full service advertising agency. A lot of times I do people ask, what do you mean exactly? Well, that means that uh, we do essentially everything with respect to marketing and advertising, TV, internet, newspaper, direct mail, billboard, radio, and everything in between. So if it relates to um, marketing and advertising, chances are media just it can help you. And my contact information is here as well uh, if you want to reach out to me directly. So as far as the way that Mediagistic goes to market, we basically kind of split it out in two different ways. The bottom of the pyramid, the pyramid, excuse me, is uh, the, the things that we partner with distributors on. So that would be our Power Buy program, which I'm going to elaborate on, and then also our Dealer Locator program. It's designed to um, create brand awareness and help gain market share, um, be able to provide our, our distributor partners with a place and a means to be able to track the effectiveness of it and then also provide their dealers with some uh, additional leads throughout the course of the year. It should not be considered the only means that a, a dealer relies on for getting leads, but it should help support you and get you a few of the leads, um, at least directly as a result of this program. On top of those, we have our Lead Builder Power Plan and Annual Plan. These are programs that are specific to a dealer. So these are where we partner with a dealer to help understand what their goals and objectives are, what their service area is, and then tailor pro programs based on those, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about those later. Again, these are very specific, market-specific, uh, much more lead-focused, uh, at least with respect to an individual dealer. Uh, one of the things that we want to understand when we're putting together these programs is how are consumers spending their free time. According to AdAge, they're spending about 94% of their time on TV, radio, and Internet. So if that's where they're spending their time, we want to make sure that we are there and available so they can find us. At Mediagistic, we subscribe to a lot of different software. I talked earlier about us being full service. Media buying is definitely one of our specialties. Uh, and we do subscribe to Nielsen and Arbitron, which allow us uh, a distinct advantage. You're not going to find a whole lot of agencies that have access to these tools. They're very expensive. Um, but they do help us and aid us in providing better value to our customer. We can go into any market in America and understand what's the going rate for a commercial, what are the, the rankers, or how does a particular station rank with respect to a specific demographic. They allow us to calculate things like reach and frequency that are very important and critical in um, advertising schedules. So these are tools that, that, from our standpoint, we can't live without. If we're not utilizing tools like these, um, what happens is a lot of people get caught in what I call the spot trap. And what that means is they're just comparing, okay, well, this person for $5,000 is going to give me 500 spots, and this person for $5,000 is going to give me 200 spots. I want the 500. It's not always that cut and dry, and these tools help us kind of break through that clutter. show you a quick example of that. This is a client who came to us and gave us their old schedule and said, what can you deliver for the same price? They were getting about 767 spots. We were able to calculate their reach based on the, the details of that schedule, which was you know about 32,000. For the same budget, Mediagistic would go in and negotiate, and we actually delivered fewer spots, but dramatically increased the amount of reach in their demographic, again, for the same investment. So this is just one of many examples about how these tools are utilized inside Mediagistic to, again, provide better value to our customers. 
Next, I'm going to talk about our Power By program. So this is, again, the program that we partnered with Pierce Phelps on to offer the dealers. First is kind of the philosophy behind the Power By program. So what we want to do is, is work with the distributor and their dealers to help generate awareness in a specific market. Uh, we do that typically via mass media, and we're trying to increase brand awareness and awareness about available offers or rebates in the marketplace, and a lot of different things happen. So first off, we're promoting the dealer locator typically, so if you're a participating dealer, the radio ad is going to say something to the effect of, find ABC Heating and Cooling and other great dealers at tristatecomfort.com. So we want to have a singular kind of purpose or focus or a uh, place where people can go and remember. And we do see a lot of people do that. They remember tristatecomfort.com, they go there, they type it in, and then they find their local dealer. In addition to that, because we're you know, doing these with the, the distributor and, and promoting specific brands, some people just remember Carrier or Bryant, depending on which ad they heard, and they end up doing a Google search or may end up at the manufacturer websites or find a local dealer. And people can also find the local dealer because, again, your name will be featured in the ads and saying, oh, I'm familiar with them. I know ABC Heating and Cooling. I see their trucks. I've, you know, they've been to my house, perhaps. So that's another way that people find them. Basically, all of these things are, are success metrics and ways that we help distributors and dealers alike gain market share and increase sales. I talked a little bit earlier about building an effective radio campaign. This is certainly kind of our bread and butter and what we do every day. We want to make sure it has the right reach and frequency. Are we targeting the right people? Is the creative you know, working together? Is it actionable? Do we talk about an offer and or a place to go like the Tri-State Comfort? And of course, does it break through the clutter? And then most importantly, is it targeted? When we're talking about targeted, we use different maps at our agency. Uh, these are called MSA maps. This is the Metropolitan Statistical Area. And it helps us understand exactly where the radio markets are and what counties they cover. So these aid us in our planning process to understand where do the dealers reside, how many are there, and then start that planning process. And we work very closely with Pierce Phelps to be able to do that. Direct mail. So with respect to the mass media thus far, everything I've talked about has really been, you know, promoting the tristatecomfort.com along with the dealers, but really trying to drive people to tristatecomfort.com. Direct mail is also included in the Power by program, but this is much more localized and specific to a specific dealer. So it's the dealership website, phone number, coupon offer, logo. And we do offer various creative options. I have a couple here. Here are a few of the Bryant ones, as well as some of the carrier ones. This right here um, is a little bit of an eye chart, but this came as a result of some of our planning with Pierce Phelps. How many dealers did they think we could um, get enrolled in the program in each market? And then our job was to figure out, okay, for the, for the you know, investment that we have, how many weeks could we run, how many stations? And then everybody participating would get 5,000 of those postcards, again, specific to the areas that they want to cover. So these are our projections for the program, what we hope to be able to, what, what we should be able to deliver or will deliver, provided we get, you know, the estimated dealers that we're planning on. We've also included in 2016 a weather sponsorship. Um, so this is going to be three months, July, August, and September. It reaches almost a million people, uh, over 300 spots, excluding what we do online. And it's going to be run on KYW television and WPSG TV. Uh, this is completely funded by Pierce, so this kind of adds more to the value of the program. Uh, Pierce Phelps is funding this completely, but it should pay dividends uh, for all the participating dealers. Here's an example of what that may look like. Obviously, this is Dunkin' Donuts. This would, you know, when we do it in July, August, and September, it'll be promoting that tristatecomfort.com. Here's some of the details of that campaign, when it's going to run, the frequency, how many ads we're going to receive on both KYW and WPSG. And then also another example of what that sponsorship is going to look like. When we showed earlier the MSA map, where are the sponsorships going to be shown? So if you're in any of this light brown shaded number four area, uh, you should be able to log in or excuse me, tune in to, uh, to the weather station or the weather sponsorship and see those actually live uh, and, and reap some of the benefits from it. So this entire shaded area is where that weather sponsorship will be shown. 
I also want to touch on our dealer locator. We have tristatecomfort.com. I've talked a lot about it, but want to show you it in action. Uh, anytime a homeowner or a user comes to our website, they're immediately shown a featured dealer. Uh, we utilize call tracking to help gauge the success of this campaign. Um, we also make sure that we have a search area. So maybe the person logs in, they're shown the featured dealer, which is based on proximity. So it should be the closest dealer to wherever they're doing a search from. Uh, but maybe the, maybe the person is searching from their job and they're looking for someone to come service their home that's 30 or 40 miles away. So they can override that and do a new search. We also utilize a lot of landing pages uh, with respect to the internet marketing. So uh, I spoke earlier about how Pierce is funding the weather sponsorship. They are also funding not just the development and maintenance of this website, but they've also invested significantly in online marketing for this. So search engine optimization, search en or pay-per-click, um, performance marketing, retargeting, all of those are components that Pierce Phelps is, is on their own contributing to this to help contribute to the success of the campaign. So we use these landing pages to help provide a good user experience for the dealer again, or for the homeowner making sure that the feature dealer is there and prevalent. This is an example of what happens if someone uh, overrides that manual feature dealer. So they go in and they type a zip code or city and state and they're shown a list of various dealers that are available. So um, it gives them the ability to pick and choose. Also as you see here, Carrie and Brian are commingled. If the homeowner selected one of the Bryant dealers that were available, the entire um, look and feel of this site will adjust to be more Bryant focused. So the header goes from blue to red, the product offerings talk more about Bryant, things like that. Here's an example of an individual dealer page. So every person who participates also has a specific page on this website relevant to their business, information that's, that's relevant. Um, it's all rewritten and repurposed from things that you've already done maybe on your existing website or in your social assets. Coupons are available. And then we will also link this to your existing website. Um, as far as the results go for the uh, Tri-State Comfort, we did do this in 2015. We'll look at about a half year sampling. We had over 5,000 visitors, almost 4 million Google and Facebook ad impressions, uh, a very good conversion rate of the people that visited the website, well above the industry average. Most of that, again, speaks to our experience in this vertical making sure we always have that dealer very prevalent so it's easy for the person to convert, and then also drawing the right people to the website. All of that turned into over a 1,000 leads, uh, and when I'm talking leads, I mean uh, 40 seconds or longer phone call to the participating dealers, and then unique over a 30-day period. As far as the benefits are concerned of the program, it is turnkey. We make it easy for you to participate, uh, cost-effective, not just with pooling the dealers together, but also when you start to layer in the investments that Pierce Phelps is making from the weather sponsorship and then also to the online marketing, provides a lot of value to the participating dealers. You get inclusion in the mass media and direct mail, access to the rebate, the increase in brand awareness, your individual postcards, and then of course inclusion in that radio campaign. And inclusion on tristatecomfort.com. So only dealers that buy into the Power Buy program will be able to be found on tristatecomfort.com. In addition to that, there are some Pierce Phelps specific benefits that are also included uh, or layered into the Power Buy program. Your territory managers could probably elaborate on these a little bit better than I can. There's also some other benefits that Pierce Phelps offers, um, some free consumer literature, a discount on sales and business classes, uh, again, access to the rebates, uh, eligibility for the Wells Fargo, the listing on CarrierBryant.com, TristateComfort.com, and Pierce.com. Again, only the dealers that are participating in Power Buy will be able to be found on any of those various outlets in addition to the marketing that we're doing uh, for TristateComfort.com. You also get the specific postcards for your business and then some uh, other benefits for the proposal generator as well. Uh, Pierce Phelps asked me to remind everyone that they do still have the dealer meetings coming up at the end of March. Uh, if you're watching this video or accessing this video, uh, please don't think, okay, good, I watched the video. I don't need to go to the dealer meetings. There's a lot of other great information that's going to be shown uh, and revealed at those meetings. So please mark your calendars accordingly and plan on coming out. I'm sure you can meet with your territory manager if you need some more details about those. As far as how to get involved in the program, uh, we have a link, powerbysignup.com. They will be live 
uh, by February 8th. Uh, the deadline to enroll, you have about three weeks to enroll in the program. The investment uh, per dealer is $5,990, and Pierce Phelps does bill you over four equal installments, and the mass media is slated to begin the beginning of May. Uh, one thing I want to remind everyone or, or just let you know about is when you do go to PowerBySignUp.com, please set aside about 20 to 25 minutes to take the time to fill out that questionnaire accordingly. And also make sure you have anyone who contributes to marketing in your business sitting at the computer with you or available via phone. We're going to ask a lot of very specific questions with respect to advertising. What are the key zip codes that you want to target in order of importance? We're going to ask you to select your creative during that sign-up process, provide the coupons that you want on your postcards. So again, just make sure that those people are readily available when you go through that process. Uh, in the event that someone's not, you can pause the sign-up process and come back at a later time. Uh, though, So if you do need to pause and need to get some input, you have the ability to do that. Next, I'm going to touch on our individual programs. So up until this point, I've talked about the Power Buy, which again is kind of our distributor partnership program. The programs I'm going to talk about now, these again are very specific and individualized uh, for a dealer taking into account their goals and objectives and market area. First thing I want to touch on is our Lead Builder product. Lead Builder is our internet marketing product offering. It is trademark. Uh, we're about to release version 10 of Lead Builder. And we've been doing this for a long time and have a lot of success in marketing businesses online, again, specifically in this HVAC vertical. You'll find a lot of internet marketing companies are very specialized. So in other words, they just do social or just do SEO or just do paid. Uh, it's our opinion with respect to internet marketing that all of those working collaboratively is the best way to be sustainable and be successful online over the long haul. So we include everything from content to performance marketing, search, search marketing, social, uh, and all the reporting associated with those. As far as our success metrics go, um, our average cost per lead over the entire calendar year of 2015 was under $15, and that's taking into account phone calls that were 40 seconds or longer. You can see 100% of our campaigns operated at $50, or less, and um, a significant amount operated at that $10 or less mark. Uh, the last meeting that I attended for ACA said the industry average is $250 to $350 cost per lead in the HVAC space. We're well beneath that uh, and provide a lot of value and success to our customers that participate in this program. When I talk about success, uh, MediaGistic was proud this past summer, the middle of June, we reached our one millionth lead that we provided to HVAC dealers via our lead builder products. So that was a big benchmark for us, something we're really proud of. Uh, we're closing in on 1.4 million right now, uh, and that just kind of speaks to our experience in this and um, you know what we're able to do for our customers that participate in the lead builder products, again, just in the HVAC vertical delivering, you know, coming up on that 1.4 million leads to those businesses. In addition to our Lead Builder product, we have our annual plan and power plan. Uh, both of these include Lead Builder, so that's kind of the foundation of those uh, product offerings. But then what we do is we start to layer in things like radio or television or cable or direct mail. Uh, and we work with each business one-on-one -on -one to figure out what's best based on their goals and objectives. Our power plans range from $50,000 total investment on up to $99,000, and then our annual plans are for customers who spend in excess of $100,000 annually marketing their business. We have about 85 annual plans all across the country and another 60 power plans. So a lot of experience, we've been doing this for a long time. Annual plans have been around for about seven years. We introduced the power plan product offering about three years ago. Again, since these are so specific, the first thing we need to understand when we're working with a dealer in a power plan or annual plan setting is where is your market? Where do you want to target? Where, your, where, do, you cut, where, where do your customers reside? And we do that via map, so we kind of lay that out so we can understand. And then we start to layer in the, the various maps that I've shown you earlier. So we're kind of taking that same area that we just looked at and then laying it on top of this DMA map and looking at broadcast television. Start to look at how many households are there, how much does it cost to be effective. Uh, and then most importantly, we're looking at you know, how, does, how does the target area of the dealer fall into the target area of the DMA. 
And in this case, there's 91% waste. So what that means is, if you're running on broadcast television, 91% of, of the people that are viewing and or listening to your commercial are not viable. They're not in that dealer's service area. And it represents a tremendous amount of waste and something that we wouldn't recommend, again, given that the service area that the dealer wants to target. Then we start to look at radio. You can see the radio market's significantly smaller. We went from almost 30 counties down to about three. And then we start to look at the same things. How much does it cost to be effective? How much waste? Um, so we went down to 23% waste. Kind of the other way to look at that is that 77% of the people that hear the radio ad that we run are within the target market that this dealer wants to get after and wants to grow their business. So this becomes a much more viable option cost-effective, something that, that we would lean towards recommending for sure. Then we look at cable. Uh, cable in this instance, you know, using all the same variables, uh, is a very good match from a geographic standpoint, but in comparison to what we could deliver with radio, didn't quite make as much sense. In other words, radio allowed us to reach more people for less money in the demographic and we were looking to target. Both of our annual plan and power plan customers are given a calendar, and this is what we manage throughout the rest of the year. So we, we basically present the customer with our plan. We collaboratively work together to come up with a, an agreed-upon plan. And then we have people here internally that are held accountable for managing this plan throughout the course of the year, and then also managing you know, the participating dealer, making sure we get approvals, making sure we get everything that we need in order to execute this plan throughout the course of the year. So there's a lot of touch points with our teams internally, making sure things are getting approved, understanding how things perform, reporting back uh, based on various metrics how things perform. So the plan's fluid and we can improve uh, not just year over year, but in some cases from spring to fall uh, or even with some more frequency than that. Last thing I'm gonna show you are a couple of results from dealers that have participated in our power plan and annual plans. Um, so these are all of the phone calls that we generated for, for a specific business uh, in their first year and then into their second year. We have an example of another customer that we did uh, over a longer period of time. So you have year one, year two, going into year three, and then year four. Um, as I talked earlier, we're into version 10 of our Lead Builder product that is constantly evolving and changing based on what's going on in the internet world. Um, so as customers kind of go through those different iterations of our product offering, we expect those to perform better and better and better. Uh, and then also some of it's just the longevity and or consistency of being in the marketplace, you know, having a consistent branding effort tends to pay dividends year two better than year one, year three better than year two as well. And then one more example of that, somebody who's been our customer for another four years. And you can see the growth that they've had in our program. As far as questions go, I want to reiterate, you can email those to sam at pierce.com, S-A-M, that's uh, Sheila's email address, or again, my email address was earlier on in the presentation, so I appreciate you uh, taking the time to view this, and I look forward to hopefully meeting you at, at, at the rollout meetings a little bit later this year. Have a great day, and uh, thank you once again for your time.